Spain and Morocco are planning one of the largest construction projects in history. The European continent is to be connected to the African continent with the help of a tunnel. Plans for this have existed for quite some time, but this time Spain and Morocco are actually convinced to carry out the project. It would be one of the longest tunnels in the world and one of the most daring construction projects in history. But what are the exact plans? What impact would such a tunnel have and would it actually become reality in the near future? We take a look at all of these questions in today's video. Enjoy! The narrowest point between Europe and Africa is at the Strait of Gibraltar. Here the two continents are separated at the shortest point only by a 14 km long strait. Because of the short distance there have long been calls for a link between Europe and Africa. A first proposal dates back to 1930 and initial feasibility studies were even carried out. However, there was one central problem. Under the Strait of Gibraltar there is extremely hard rock, which made tunnel construction impossible with the technology available at the time. Because of these difficulties, a bridge was also discussed for a long time as an alternative to a tunnel. Several engineering firms were commissioned to plant different bridges. Most plans consisted of suspension bridges and the construction of an artificial island to facilitate the distance. But even these ideas turned out to be very daring and ultimately failed because of the will of the Spanish and Moroccan governments. Movement first came to the project in 1979 when the Spanish and Moroccan governments signed the Declaration of Fes. This provided the creation of a company whose task would be to carry out feasibility studies and develop plans for a tunnel. And indeed, over the decades, tunnel construction also developed further and other daring projects such as the Eurotunnel between France and Great Britain were implemented. This tunnel runs 37 kilometers under the water, so surely the construction of a Euro-African tunnel should also be possible, right? In fact, it is not that simple. The project is much more difficult than the one in the English Channel. There are two main problems, the depth of the sea and the geological conditions. While the English Channel is 174 meters deep, the Strait of Gibraltar is 900 meters deep at its deepest point. And this deepest point is exactly at the shortest distance between the two continents. This, of course, complicates the construction immensely. By comparison, the currently deepest underwater tunnel located in Norway is only 291 meters below sea level. In addition, the African and Eurasian plate meet at precisely this point, which repeatedly causes earthquakes and other geological faults. Nevertheless, both governments did not discard the project. Starting in the 2000s, new sites for the tunnel were studied and the best engineers in the world were hired to develop plans for an earthquake-proof tunnel. And the current plan is arguably the most promising yet developed. According to the current plans, the tunnel will begin near the city of Tarifa in Spain and end near the Moroccan city of Tangier. The tunnel's route is to be 40 km long, with 30 km of it running underwater. And in fact, momentum for the project is building right now, with both governments announcing their will to carry out the project as recently as this November. It comes in handy that the diplomatic ice age between Spain and Morocco, which lasted for years, has just ended this year. The reason for the diplomatic upheaval was the Western Sahara, a former Spanish colony claimed by Morocco. The Polisario Liberation Front advocates independence, but Morocco sees it as its own state territory. However, after decades of dispute, in March 2022, Spain became one of the first countries in the world to recognize Western Sahara as an autonomous region within Morocco. Thus, the situation between the two states relaxed and many now already speak of new best friends. And this new friendship is also benefiting the tunnel project, which is why both governments are now cooperating more closely than ever before. The crossing by train should only take about half an hour. Total costs of at least 5 billion euros are calculated and there is talk of a construction period of about 15 years. Spain wants to connect the tunnel to its network of high-speed trains and Morocco is also planning a connection to its TGV network. Of course, the tunnel would have great effects that we cannot even imagine today. Africa and Europe would grow much closer together, both politically and economically. The old continent of Europe would be connected with the young up-and-coming continent of Africa. Europe could expand much more strongly into African markets and Africa could export things to Europe more easily than ever before. 
as an important use case, even green hydrogen and electricity produced with renewable energy sources could possibly be transported to Europe. So we see the tunnel is a very exciting project. However, it is not yet clear exactly when construction is to start. But the chances that it will really work out this time are probably better than ever. So that was it with the video. If you enjoyed it, I really recommend you my last video about the planned bridge between Italy and Sicily. Enjoy this video and I say bye.